they've been around since around the Civil War is when they started building cigar box guitars. Pat Mallett from Blair is playing his handmade cigar box guitar inside his tent at Junkstock. <laughs> The biannual Vintage Festival is in full swing today with hundreds of vendors and thousands of people turning out to Sycamore Farms in Waterloo. But for every note like this, there's sounds like these. Oh, I think this is a new record. Normally in the spring and summer we deal with rain, but for October and this amount of rain, it's pretty amazing, not gonna lie. <laughs> Junk stock draws vendors from near and far. And earlier today, this Nebraska weather wasn't so accommodating. A few little cars were getting a little stuck. But the turnout in the weather did earn locals brownie points with the out-of-towners. This is Nebraska. Went across the prairies in a little boat and the little wagons and the horses and mules and oxen pulling them. Went through snow, blizzards, desert storms, engines, everything. We made it. A little bit of rain is nothing for the Nebraska people. And a little more rain than we normally get. Um, normally we'll get one day maybe, but, uh, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Despite the added challenges the rain brings, it didn't dampen any spirits. But all I got. <laughs> And junk stock continues tomorrow, but a big heads up, if your car doesn't have four-wheel drive, do not plan on driving right to Sycamore Farms. You will not be able to make it out because of all that mud. There is a shuttle running from Metro Community College Elkhorn Campus all day tomorrow, so definitely take that instead.